Warning, innuendo alert. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. If you want your wood... Ooh, naughty. You'll have to fix my broken bow first. Ah. Hey up, Ben Minos. Previously, we started our campaign and became Alexius, Mistheus of Kefalonia. We started to collect some debt back from our friend Marcos until Phoebe, another little friend, was rudely kidnapped by Cyclops' thugs, the bastards. We begin here in the town of Sammy, looking for Duris and our money. Hmm? Sorry. Sammy, Duris will be at the shop. Hey! Come on, come on. Now, am I going to be the kind of person that steals? I don't think I will be. It's kind of cool going around these towns, though. Ooh, what? What? Somebody say my name? Is it you? No? Alexios, good to see you. Good to see you too, invisible person. What can I show you? Sell? I don't have anything to sell. Thanks for looking. Hello, Thuris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Oh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Then you shouldn't have borrowed the money. All right, double is too much. I'm going to be a little harsh in this one. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Duris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you're going to pay. We both know it. The question is, what do I break first? You or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Ah, uh, damn. I won't leave you that way. I'll leave you alone now. Yeah. It's not this guy's fault that he borrowed money from the goddamn Cyclops. You're right about that. Forget the drag me. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. <gasps> Damn. Nothing special, but it's better than that Rastim one you've got. Yay. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. Yeah. Duris' sword. I got a sword, I'm gonna put it on. Choose a sword, I'm gonna put it on. Oh, come on. I'm not even level two. Ooh. Oh dear, oh dear. Dear me. Oh, I've got two horses. Macedonian steed. Rare. Phobos skin. Common Phobos skin. Rare Phobos skin. Oh, so it's not actually called Phobos, it's just a type of horse. Oh. Oh, so it would be my horse underneath, but it's that one. Well, I can use it now. Upgrades. Often used for trading gold, copper, glass, and ivory, these horses are also found pulling chariots in battle. And I've got a new skirt as well. I can put on that assassin damage. 
warrior damage. I'm going to remain with the warrior damage because when it comes to like the big fights and stuff, I am really going to want to do that for the warrior damage. So I'm going to stick with that. And the engravings list? I have not. Not at all. So there's no way I'm wasting time on that. Onwards! What is this? Interact. Oh, ooh. Mercenary work, Kefaloni Islands. As Alexios has learned, any job is a good job, no matter how small. Ilios, a Kefalonian armorer, needed wolf furs for the war effort, and new Alexios could provide them easily. Sure. Never know when I met this guy, but well, and characters. Oh, okay, cool. Mercenary work. Fobos. Oop. Yeah. You were different to me a minute ago. I, oh, I don't like your hairstyle. That's weird. Hmm. We may have to change that in future. For now, you can have your funky hair. Jeez. <laughs> Melissian Cave. Melissian Cave. Wait. Uh, no easy way down. Leap of faith. Yes, loot. Give me all the loot. Bottomless lake. Taking the plunge. Everyone on the island thinks the deepest dive, but there is a lake in the coast of Kolade. That is rumored to have to be bottomless. If you are able to dive, if you are able to dive as far as a woman in marble, you will be able to claim me. Ooh, treasure. I've got some wee traveller's boots as well. Pretty funky. Nothing else? You go up there. Okay, I'm going to go into the cave. Over there. Quick. Anybody at home? Onwards. How can you see underwater, Alexius? Oh, glory in the dark weeds, that's how. This is cool though. Sorry I keep looking up to your skirt, Alexios. Not much in here though. From the looks of things. Ooh, there's a thing. Ooh. More things. There we go. A few resources. Not so bad. The biggest thing I'm worried about during this playthrough is that if you go too far in the story, it stops you getting. Um, a lot of the side quests done. So, ooh. I don't want to be spotted here. Okay. That's all. I should go look. What? Thanks, plant. Thanks for your shit. Still have a broken bow.
Turn around. Yes, I better pick up. Bright eyes. Sleep. Give me loot. Ooh, spear. Okay. See, didn't need to do anything to that guy. Yeah. Do 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 do. Six things up there. Not going that mushrooms. Seriously, what were these guys just doing hanging out in a cave? Do we see? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just pops out the wall. Alexis is wonderful. Oh, hello. This one, this one, this one, nothing. Ah, ooh. Was a nice little excursion. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, that was nice. Ooh, more stuff. A clay bowl. A used knife. Why does he look at these things and think, "Ooh, I want that." In market. Leonidas. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay. It's Marcos. Marcos? You're running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Mm. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Alexios. I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. It's impossible. We can try. We'll get the drachmi. Hmm. We'll get the drachmi, but maybe we'll just get it from the Cyclopses. We have no other choice now. We need a plan. That's what I do oh, best. This will take more than the usual tricks up your sleeve. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Ah, the old days. Cassandra! Just a spear. Just a spear. 
Run, kid, run! Already got echoes? How do you stick it to your back? Sail the hard way. Or well, didn't learn to sail at all. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. ha. You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You, you do, do a few, few things, things for me. me. Everybody, Everybody wins. wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait. <laughs> Falonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos, and look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets, to a mysthios with a hovel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? Really? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me, always prepared. What did I tell you? He will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, of course you I do. cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. Yeah. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. <laughs> I like this lady. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. <laughs> Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. A secret Spartan. Hand it over, Spartan. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. Weak. Owned. Dead. I did it, I did it. Stop the lady again. Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. I'll stop the bandits. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as his scapegoat. Where are the bandits? Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. Boyer. I'd check close to the lumber camps. Lumber camp. Got it. Uh, what's so special about the wood? There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? 
I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special mm. kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. Right. I'll get going. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. Mm -hmm. All right. I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood. Will do. Right. So. Uh, bow. Yay. Bow fixed. Yay. Bow bag. Arrow. Just one. Oh no, this is spear. Quest item. Ooh. I didn't realize it was a quest item. Spear of Kephalos. Kephalos. With this spear in hand, the wielder must choose their target wisely. According to the legend, Kephalos was gifted this spear by the gods. Its unique power, it'll never miss its mark. This is actually quite interesting, because for who the island is named after, in was it Kefalonia, um, that man had a wife and a god came on a chariot uh, to try and take him away um, but he was like no no I want to stay with my wife I don't want to leave her and the goddess was like fine fine but he, but she placed the doubt in his mind that his wife was cheating on him um, so when he went back to his wife he went in disguise when he went in disguise um, he was like, here, here, have lots of money. I, I, I'll pay you to run away with me. Uh, and after a while of a lot of, a lot of uh, begging and stuff, she finally gave in and was just like, fine, if you give me this much, I'll run away with you. And, and then he revealed himself just like, ha ha, you bitch. You are going to run away with, with me, f away from me, from, from me. So they ended up breaking up. Uh, and she went off to possibly Crete, maybe? Um, anyway, she then uh, started to become a huntress and the god Artemis saw that she was becoming a really, really good hunter and gifted her with a spear that never missed its mark um, and also a dog that never never didn't find its target as well like tracking and, and sniffing around um, after a while after she had um, become a really really good famous hunter huntress she went back to the island um, of Kephalos Kephalos? No, that's, that's this one um, wherever we are and um, but she went disguised as a man uh, once she met up with her old husband again, um, they went out hunting together and they had a victory. Um, and then that's where she revealed herself. She was just like, ha ha, look, I'm your wife. And he was like, ah, oh, damn, I missed you so much. And they all lived happily ever after for the rest of their lives. So not so much of a Greek tragedy, a really, really nice story, but sort of a bad story, but kind of nice. It's nice to live happily ever after. But this must be her spear. That is my point. Pretty cool. Number two. Okay. Right. On with the tail. Fabos! Oh! <laughs> I'm used to being in uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. You'd whistle for your horse or camel, and it'd be a very long while until he actually turned. Let's uh, go. It's this way. I thought they weren't supposed to put things on the map, though. Supposed to go from the clues. I wonder if these are the special trees. Yeah. The special trees. Special trees! Up. Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. Ah, clues, okay. That's a lot De of footprints. Detective Alexios. The group left this area. Headed west. They went out that way. 
any signs of what they used, equipment. Oh. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Maybe we'll trace him down. This dude know anything? No, he's just working on his thing. Ha! Oh no! Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. No oh, shit. Icarus. Okay, so Icarus will find it when we get close. Zoom in. There we go. Zoom. Ooh, that's a bit flighty. Ooh, 3D map though. Kind of cool. So, shipment was attacked by bandits. They can't have got further than 250 meters from the ambush. Does it tell me how far away for I am for myself? Did say they went west, so I reckon they probably went down here. Maybe it's there then. I'll go there. That's because I've done that one. Right. Phobos! Where are you, you silly horse? Phobos! Phobos? Hey! <laughs> Your stupid hairstyle it's going through that teenage phase where they just have weird, weird hair. Come on! Yes, they're going to be behind here, huh? Yes. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. Detective Alexios, on duty. Icros, you need to tell him where all the uh, bandits are hiding in camp. All of them are level two. That is must be the shipment. I don't know if anyone's ever watched Jane the Virgin, but the narrator's voice, even though it's very it's Spanish, it kind of sounds sexy, very nice like this. OMG, right? Right. It is my my girlfriend to blame for me watching. Jane the Virgin, when it's actually a very, actually fun program. <laughs> I enjoy it very much. Wait, what? Wolves! Oh, very furry wolves. Ow. Oh god, oh there's more. Ah. Okay, so that was a perfect dodge. Oop. Oop. Stick a move. Weak. Oh no! Damn it. Ugh. Oh shit, reload the save point. I don't know who did save points. Open save menu. Reload last save point. 